hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really really well if you are new here please consider subscribing before you go and if you are returning thank you ever so much for coming back for another video um today i have my empties bucket here so it could only mean one thing we're going through my empties for august so just a little sneaky peek in there um my book, it's about half full this time which is pretty decent it's probably because there's some quite few bigger things in here please excuse all the mess behind me i really need to sort it out don't i it's just that's just where i tend to stash everything and my son likes to he he likes to use all the stuff that's up there to use his little climbing bits for his little animals so he tells me off if i do try to move anything so i am sorry about that and there's left his bag of crisps up there as well sorry <laughs> i get in trouble if i try to tidy up my own room so yeah i'm just going to go through them in no particular order um to let you know what i've used up what i think of them what i repurchase and so on and so forth right so let's begin so the first thing i'm pulling out is something you would have seen before so this is the garnier ultimate blends nourishing hair food banana and coconut shampoo so this is for dry hair i got this i first used it um i think i've only gone through one this is the second one i've used but i first got it from latest in beauty in um a pick with their style boxes and i really do enjoy it it's something i would repurchase because i do really like it the conditioner is still there's a tiny tiny little bit in the conditioner so that should be finished pretty soon so i do really like that this is a worse for wear shower lily from the body shop it's quite bedraggled so i've treated myself to a new one because yeah it's sort of falling apart so i thought i'd treat myself then these are a repurchase let's put that down like this so i can get stuff out i always tend to use these ones um the johnson's baby cotton buds um clean delicate areas around the eyes and outer ear um I tend to buy these ones because they do have the cardboardy stick rather than the plastic stick. So these are the ones I go for. Let's shove them over here. Um, I have a couple of shower gels, again from the body shop. So this one, something's leaked. That's a little bit gross. I'll just get a little wipey wipe from, to wipe my paws on because that's a bit rank. Right, so this is the Balkan Juniper Body Wash. It's Invigorating Bath and Shower Gel, 250ml from the Body Shop. I did really like this. It's one of the more expensive ones. These are £7 to buy at full price. Um, the scent of these, oh, it's so lovely. I'd say it's more of um it's more of a unisex scent. You know, it's not particularly like, like it's not really overly floral or anything like that it's oh it's really nice i could just smell that all day it's lovely it's more of a nighttime scent as well it's not one of these zesty ones that's going to wake you up in the morning but it is really nice it's part of the spa of the world range and then i have one of my favorites which is the satsuma one this one is a zesty one that will wake you up in the morning definitely um have another little shampoo this is by uh rahua I think you say that it's a classic shampoo for healthy lustrous hair um 60 ml size there's a teeny tiny bit in the bottom of there that i can't squidge out this i've had it for absolutely ages i got it in the harper's bazaar box from may last year um i think it's quite overpriced actually for what it is I tend to like one, a shampoo that d foams up quite a lot. I know that it doesn't make any difference whether one foams or not. And it's actually pretty bad for you. Because it's the SLS, isn't it, that causes them to foam. But um, this one doesn't foam up very much. But it does leave your hair quite... does leave it feeling quite nice. But, for example, this this, this little size, 60ml, would cost £6.98. So that's almost £7.00 for 60 mils where this costs six pounds for 350 mils so it's one of them and i do really like this one the smell is absolutely gorgeous this one smells quite nice it's but it's nothing to write home about it's 
it's all right. One of my favourites, I've used up a Batiste dry shampoo in the floral blush. Um, I do like this scent. It's it's nice enough. Batiste is one that I'll always go back to. I do like my dry shampoo. So yeah, did enjoy that one. Oh, another shower gel. These, I absolutely adore them. This is the Brazilian Foreplay from Sol de Janeiro. It's the moisturising shower cream gel. It's in the same scent as the Boom Boom cream and it's a little 90ml travel size. Oh, I love it. It's like heaven. If you've never smelt the Boom Boom cream, you really need to. But you just a warning, you will be addicted. It smells so gorgeous. There's nothing like it. It's just amazing. So, yeah, I've gone through that one. Some vitamins. These were from My Vitamins Hair, Skin and Nails, 30 capsules. Um, these were from the Look Fantastic box. Um, they're all right. I'm, I've moved on to the gummies at the moment. They do. I do find that they help, help my nails to grow. I mean, this one was ever so long, but it grows at a funny angle. It sort of grows outwards and then down like this. So it grows at a really funny angle because I used to get them... Um, I used to get my nails done when I was about 18 at a place that used electric files and it's kind of ruined my nail beds. Hello, Oliver. So, yeah, my, my nail beds are unfortunately have been ruined. So my nails do grow at all odd angles. Here's Oliver with his sweets. So, yeah, nothing to say for my nail beds, but my nails do grow nicely, especially when I'm using these. But I found they were quite big to swallow, so a group of... Hello, use your words please mate. <laughs> so I do prefer the gummies. It, they don't taste very nice, you're swallowing them either. That's disgusting. <laughs> you little rogue. Oh, no, stop that. I am sorry. My deodorant that I've been using is the dog. Oliver, swallow your chocolates please. Swallow them up nicely. So yeah, I'd like, um, it's all right. So five pounds to buy, so it is on the pricey side, but it works. Hiya. Hiya. Bye bye. Bye bye. This was the um. Oh, I, got I know you have. Anatomicals, the Great British Flake Off Summer Strawberry Body Scrub. It really did smell like strawberry jam, so the scent was quite nice. But the scrub, I found it separated. I don't know whether mine was just old, but um, I wouldn't use. I don't know. I'd probably if I got one again, I'd use it straight away. I can see you. What are you doing? You put it there yeah, for you, later. yeah, you put it there for later. I've got a clean and clear blackhead clearing daily scrub. I didn't really like this. It had blue bits in it, and I didn't know what they were made of. So yeah, I just wasn't keen. Um, I found it left my skin quite dry as well, so I wouldn't purchase that one again. I have a blue packet this is the body shop coconut bath bubble these are the fizzy hearts oliver really likes these in his bath don't you son you like these fizzy hearts so yeah we like these they make lots of bubbles and um, we've got another one here <clears throat> for this one this is the pink grapefruit bath bubble the bath bubble is actually it's a purple heart and the water does go really purple as well as well as bubbly so prefer that one you stay out of my butt, you monkey. <laughs> yeah. Then we have the Eclat Boreal from Pilar. If you did watch my <laughs> Pan That subscription box, you'll know my feelings on this. I didn't really like it. However, I did use it on my feet and my legs just to use it up. So I wasn't, I wouldn't use that again. Um, got a couple of sheet masks. Got the Jeju uh, Replenishing Jeju Island Hydrogel Mask by okay that one was nice enough and um, then i've got the good night pm mask by meg. meg i think that's meg cosmetics is that um didn't think much of this one it was a bit drippy and just wasn't really my thing this one i did prefer that's a couple of masks I'm using up my wipes so these are the simple age resisting cleansing wipes i've ordered these from amazon expecting them to be biodegradable but i don't actually think this pack was so not too happy with that but it is what it is they're gone so 
Oh, another sheet mask. This one's absolutely amazing and I 100% would recommend it. This is the Sarah Chapman London Skin Skinesis 3D Moisture Infusion. It was amazing and actually did feel a difference with my skin, so I really would recommend it. It's on the pricier side, but it is really good. Hey. Oliver's come to show you something. What you got, mate? Hold it up. We have a Medico antibacterial hand sanitising gel with aloe vera. It's just a hand sanitizer, But I did find it, even though it has got a very high alcohol alcohol content, and it did smell a bit alcoholy, um, it was a bit more moisturising than some that I've used before. So I'd use that again. Um, last few bits. So this here was the um, Origins, Dr. Andrew Wheel, or Vile, I'm not sure how you say that. Mega Mushroom Relief Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion. This was in my pan, that subscription box from not this month, because it's gone the month before. So yeah, I managed to use that up. I quite liked it. I wouldn't, I, I don't know if I purchased it again, but if I got it again, I'd, I'd be happy to use it. Got a mascara. This was from NARS. It's the NARS Climax Mascara. Unfortunately, it started to go all. I mean, you can see it's all dried up, it's not the same, but that's the wand on it just there. If you can see, God, this camera is so much better than my old phone. I am loving this phone. It... Sorry, you'll probably hear me say this for the next two years till I upgrade again, but yeah, that's the wand on it, and it is it's gone clumpy and just flaky and not as nice as it was. So, I'm getting rid of that. Thank you, son. Next, we have the Kate Somerville um, Goat Milk Moisturising Cream. I did really like this, but I'd be really interested in trying the um, Delicate. Next, as you can see, I've licked, it was the old packaging as well, because I did get it in a FabFitFun. But yeah, I've literally scraped the sides. I've re I did really like it. It didn't have much of a scent, because it is for sensitive skin. Yeah, I did like it. I like that it's purple as well. Well, lilac, but yeah, I did enjoy this cream and I would use it again. It was really quite nice. So, yeah, I'd use it again, but I am interested in trying the Delicate one. I'd like to try more from her actual line, actually. I'm really interested in trying her, de um, her goat milk cleanser. So, if anyone's used that before, let me know what it's like because I'm really interested. And the last one is by Skin Iceland. And it's limited edition berry lip fix and it's the lip fix yeah it was a lip balm <laughs> i've completely lost my train of thought so yeah that's the last item so it was just a lip balm i got in a little set and i think i got it in a christmas sale but yeah that was the, just the applicator here your feet stink mate yeah cheeky boy there's literally nothing left in it whatsoever i really did quite like this so i, I would i'd buy this again i like the um is it the scent, the taste, the smell? I don't, I don't know, but it was nice yeah. and I would use it again. I quite like Skin Iceland. Some of the things they do is quite nice. So, yeah, that's the last one. So, thank you ever so much for watching my empties video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up because I really do appreciate it. Do remember, I will have a 500 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. If I reach 500 subscribers, I don't know. But, yeah keep your eyes peeled for that and if you do do an empties yourself please let me know because i would love to watch it as well because they do they are my favorite videos to watch and to film so yeah please do let me know so thanks again for watching this video and hopefully i shall see bye you in the next you one bye. you gotta say bye bye you, you say bye bye